Pew Research did some polling and found the key difference between Hillary Clinton supporters and Bernie Sanders supporters. They say some of the starkest divisions are on fundamental questions relating to the U.S.'s role in the world. 66% of Democratic and Democratic-leaning registered voters who support Clinton for the party's presidential nomination say that world problems would be even worse without U.S. involvement. Just 28% say U.S. efforts usually make things worse. By contrast, Sanders supporters are divided. 49% say global problems would be even worse without the U.S. being involved, while nearly as many, 45%, say U.S. efforts usually make matters worse. Now, they go on to lay it out in even more specific terms uh, to basically say, hey, should we focus on our own problems first before we get to anybody else's problems? And uh, Bernie supporters in much, much larger numbers say, yeah, let's take care of our own stuff here before we do anything overseas. And Hillary supporters are uh, less likely to really agree with that sentiment. So the takeaway from this is right in front of us, it's crystal clear. One of the biggest differences between Hillary supporters and Bernie supporters is that Hillary supporters are more hawkish. So in other words, they less embody true liberal values and true progressive values. They're interventionists. That puts them much more in league with neoconservatives, with people like George Bush and Bill Kristol and Dick Cheney. You know, that's their philosophy, nation building, the Bush doctrine, do offensive wars. This is what they were in favor of. Now, again, the numbers may not be as stark for Hillary supporters, but it's still quite sad, and you're still leaning in that pathetic direction. And also, understand, man, and this is probably my biggest beef with them, it's a massively ignorant position. To take that position, it's like you have to be totally blind to the history of U.S. regime change around the world. And that's why Bernie Sanders has done such an incredible job in this campaign. I mean, it, in debates with millions of people watching, he brings up issues that very few people knew, and perhaps they Googled it and they learned about it. So, for example, uh, Bernie would talk about how the U.S. put the Shah into power in Iran. And... Uh, we overthrew Mohammad Mossadegh, the democratically elected leader in Iran. How the fuck can you say you're for democracy when you overthrew the democratically elected leader and you put in the dictator? And then obviously this paved the way for the Islamic Revolution in Iran, something that we're all against. Well, Bernie brought up that the CIA was, were the ones who did that, and then people Googled it and they were probably like, Oh shit, I didn't know that. Uh, Bernie also brought up that during the Cold War in South America, for example, we went fucking nuts. We started overthrowing democratically elected leaders all over the place. And we would overthrow them and put in fascist right-wing leaders as we claimed, oh, we're upholding uh, democracy. But wait, again, you overthrew the democratic democratically elected leaders because you didn't agree with them because they were left-wing. And then now you put in somebody who's an authoritarian and you're claiming that you should get a pat on the back because you care so much about democracy. That's fucking crazy. So you have Bernie Sanders bringing this up. You know, he, he didn't bring up this next thing here, but I think it would have been awesome if he did. Many people don't know about this. The Banana Wars. The Banana Wars, uh, it's a case of the U.S. literally overthrowing governments because uh, we wanted to just jack bananas from them. Steal bananas and give it to our banana corporations. I mean, this is stuff that's uncomfortable, but it's true. And Bernie Sanders is... It, taking the mask off all this and saying, okay, if you believe that the U.S. only acts overseas for humanitarian reasons, for altruism, you're simply super naive and or ignorant. And Hillary Clinton, in her infinite silliness, and she can't help her hawkish ways, uh, she still, nonetheless, is out there today saying we need to get more involved in Syria, we need to take a harder line with Iran, we need to do more intervention, and to people who know the history of U.S. actions around the world, that's, that's preposterous, that's a ridiculous position, and we know that our recent interventions have created more problems than they've solved. That's just a fact. There are more jihadists and terrorists around the world today than there were before we did the Iraq War. President Obama, a supposedly liberal Democrat, did seven interventions. He's going to break a record being the only president for two consecutive terms the entire time to be at war. He's increasing troops now to Yemen. He's increasing troops now to Syria. So, 
it's just going the wrong way. And Hillary supporters, they just have that naive, childish position of, well, we're the good guys by definition, so gosh golly, Papa, we gotta help people everywhere, and I'm sure we're not doing it for selfish reasons and imperialistic reasons and for corporate power and for hegemony. It would never be that. So that's a huge difference between Hillary supporters and Bernie supporters. And then I would add on top of this, now they didn't go into this in this uh, survey here, but I would say another one of the biggest differences is uh, the stance on money and politics and business as usual. You know, Bernie supporters, they're totally sick of money buying our politicians and the politicians representing the corporations and the establishment and not the people. Hillary supporters seem to be somewhat okay with that because she's taken so much money from special interests. So they just think, what do you mean? It's part of the system. What are you going to do? You can't change it. It's just the rules of the game. It is what it is. And they passively accept massive amounts of corruption. Whereas Bernie supporters say, how about no? How about we try to change that? How about we try to get politicians who actually represent the people? And how about we stand on principle and we don't lie down and take it as our government and Congress specifically has a 4% approval rating? I love how Hillary's poor is just like, well, what do you mean? The, it is what it is. So there's a lot of corruption in the system. What are you going to do? You want to just lay down and let the Republicans take all the big money? <laughs> That's something Barney Frank literally says. He's like, well, the Republicans take 80% of the money from Wall Street. Would you rather them take 100%? No, I'd rather get all of the money out of the system. Stop giving a false dichotomy, a false choice. We have more choices. We can fight for it. But no, they want to lay down and take it. So... The Hillary supporters, in so many ways, are just further to the right wing on the spectrum, and they haven't come to terms with that about themselves, and they should.